Well, fire crews are responding to the Wilson fire. That fire is north of Mono Lake along the south of Highway 167, about three miles east of U.S. Highway 395. The fire at last report, 16 acres, 5% contained, burning in sagebrush and grass. Now, fire crews have constructed an initial fire line around the Wilson fire, and a hose lay is in place. Krills will continue to strengthen the fire line and work toward complete mop up of the fire. Responders today included the Forest Service, BLM, as well as Mono City, Levining, June Lake, and Mammoth Lakes Fire Departments and Cal Fire. Crews expected hot, dry conditions today. Down Canyon winds in the afternoon could increase the fire activity and challenge containment lines. The press release from the U.S. Forest Service notes fire managers are advising travelers along Highway 167, that's north of Lee Vining, to slow down near the fire area since crews will be working along the road corridor. The cause of the fire under investigation, but it appears to be human caused. Well, the Eastern Sierra Recreation Collaborative will hold special wrap up meeting that is set for Monday, August 15th, starting at 6 p.m. Saracosa Community College in Bishop. And this will conclude its series of public meetings held in gateway communities of the Eastern Sierra. Now, for planning purposes, members of the public interested in attending the special wrap up meeting, you are requested to RSVP. And get more information, visit the website easternsierrarec.org meeting materials and updated background information can be found at that website. Well, some really cool events this weekend in Mammoth, including the 44th annual Mammoth Lakes Fine Arts and Crafts Festival. That's taking place Friday through Sunday on the grounds of Kittredge Sports. It's a free event. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day on display a wide variety of arts and crafts, including photography, watercolor and oil paintings, ceramics, jewelry, woodwork and a lot more. For more information on this, you can contact Kittredge Sports 760-934-7566. Also check it out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, the 44th annual Mammoth Lakes uh, Arts and Crafts Festival. Well, another fun weekend at the Village in Mammoth. This time, we're helping to put this on. Alt 92.5 Sierra Wave Radio helping to present the Burger Battle Weekend at the Village at Mammoth. That's taking place this Friday and Saturday. Kicking off Friday, some free music starting at 4 p.m. The Burger Battle is Saturday. Cook-off begins at 2 p.m. Hey, the winner will be announced just after 4 o'clock, and this year's Burger Battle winner will win a trip to the World Food Championship. Going to have some great music both Friday and Saturday. And again, the music's free, including the Devin Allman Band, Lucas Nelson, and the Promise of the Real Deal on Saturday. Great fun again this weekend at the Village at Mammoth. It's the Burger Battle Weekend at the Village. And well, let's face it, it's the biggest party of the summer. It's Mammoth Lakes Blueza Palooza. Run it. Yeah, for this 21st year, coming off our 20th anniversary, last year was a huge year for us. Uh, our goal is to really take this event for another 20 years. And anybody who knows that much about festivals knows that an event that's been around for 20 years has got great longevity, and we want to make sure that it continues into the future. So this year, we've added a couple of elements, which are definitely going to make it unique. We've got five bars this year instead of three. Uh, that includes craft spirits tasting actually there's a lot of distilleries in this country that are starting to pop up the same way that craft breweries did and so we're going to be tasting some of the craft distillers products uh, along with a cigar bar which is kind of unique it's in a confined area so just a small smoking area but the fact that we can offer cigars that are paired very well with uh, craft distilleries as well as some of our barrel aged beers this year for the first time we've got an entire vip area it's called the lair of the bear lounge uh, named after one of our beers um, the vip lounge <clears throat> has got its own private bar um, porta potties kind of higher end restrooms just a unique setup on stage left and then uh, the other thing that's very new this year and I'm excited about is the size of the stage. This is the largest stage that Blueza Palooza has ever had. We've got a large LED wall that's going to be on the back of the stage so that even if you're back here in the trees, you'll be able to see the performers that are projected up on the Jumbotron, essentially, which is at the back of the stage. Uh, a couple of other unique things that are actually happening outside the venue. Uh, we do have a shuttle that's going to be taking people up and down Minaret so you don't have to 
walk that that hill for the several hundred yards to get back up to Mammoth Brewing Company. We've got a shuttle this year. We've got a tent in the Mammoth Brewing Company parking lot this year uh, just to expand our area because we've noticed how uh, crushed our beer garden gets over this weekend. And then finally, it's about the breweries, the craft breweries that are coming. We've got uh, two days of grand tasting on both Saturday and Sunday. And as I've, as we've always tried to really portray at this event, this is a celebration of the craft breweries that make this industry so much fun and so unique. And so on both Saturday uh, and Sunday, from 12 to 5 on Saturday, 12 to 4 on Sunday, uh, we've got over 100 craft breweries, 75 on Saturday, and I think it's 55 on Sunday spread throughout. Here, some of them are duplicates on Saturday and Sunday that are going to be tasting their wares. And again, if you're familiar with what's going on in the craft beer industry in this country, we actually get to taste some of the best beers that are made. And they're all regional, California, Nevada, a couple from uh, Colorado, Montana, but for the most part, very local to just California and Nevada. And that's what we celebrate here. Some of the music that we've got, again, I would argue uh, some of the best lineup we've had even blows away the 20th anniversary. Michael Fronte, Zella Day opening for Michael Fronte on Thursday night. We've been working on getting Michael Fronte for this show for quite a few years. Granted, he's not entirely blues, but that's why we call it Beyond Blues on Thursday night. He's one of the biggest headliners this town has seen in the 10 years that I've been living here. He's on Thursday night. Uh, on Friday, our two headliners are uh, Alan Stone and Beth Hart. I've never seen both of them. I've never seen either one of them in concert, but I've seen all their videos and really excited about the two of them. On Saturday, we've got uh, several performers. Uh, David Baumhall, I'm really looking forward to seeing him. I have so many people coming into the tasting room saying they can't wait to see him. And then John Baptiste and Stay Human. He is the uh, house band for Stephen Colbert's Late Night. Uh, and he, this is one of his few West Coast performances. He's going to be here on uh, Saturday night. And then on Sunday, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings has been getting so much press lately. Uh, she was on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me just last, just yesterday uh, and has got a documentary film coming out about her. She's on Sunday. She's our headliner. One of the other bands that I'm really excited about on Sunday morning is the New Breed Brass Band, which is kind of like a uh, New Orleans uh, blues band, but they are actually going to be leading in all the attendees on Sunday morning like a parade. Uh, into the venue. So that's going to be kind of fun. Sunday's always fun. We call it the soulful hangover party as it is. Serving Bloody Marys, that's the only day that we don't, that we serve something beyond um, beer and wine at all five of our bars, not just the craft distillers pavilion. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the performers day by day. Yeah, if you're interested in more information, the best place to go is the website. It's Mammoth Blues Brews Fest. Blues Brews Fest. That's right. Mammoth Blues Brews Fest dot com. But Google Blues a Palooza. That's the easiest way to get there. Uh, and that's got all the frequently asked questions, the lineup, the schedule, uh, all the attending breweries are listed there. Uh, lodging, if you're still looking for lodging. Uh, tickets, we uh, tickets are still available. Um, I actually expect them to still be available uh, leading up to the event. So please, uh, you can get them on. Uh, the, off the website, or actually you can buy them at the Mammoth Brewing Company tasting room without any kind of ticketing service fees. That's probably the easiest place to get them. All right, we know a lot of folks coming into town. I've got several myself going to enjoy Bluesapalooza this weekend. We'll be back with more news.